Hi, everyone. My name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com, a site all about hearing and sound. And in this video, we're going to be talking about AI and hearing aids. Now, if you watch the news, you've probably heard about AI showing up in tools like ChatGPT or helping choose videos for TikTok or Amazon using AI to help us decide what laundry detergent to purchase. But now we're starting to see AI moving into other spaces, including hearing health, which is very exciting to me. AI can be used to describe a lot of things, but you can think of it as a computing technique that gets smarter over time. The more it sees, the better it gets. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the wilder examples of AI showing up in hearing aids. And to help me, I'm joined by audiologist Dr. Amy Saro. So Dr. Amy, can you talk to us about how AI is showing up in hearing health today? So nowadays, most hearing aid manufacturers incorporate AI in their technology. Now, this differs in terms of exactly how they do it, but to give you a general example, the hearing aid is constantly monitoring your environment and then making changes according to what it's picking up on around you to help optimize your hearing, uh, to give you the best hearing possible in that specific situation. So one example is with Oticon. Now they use a technology called a deep neural network. And the way that they did this is they went out in the environment and they measured different sound samples. They took 12 million different sound samples and then the technology now has a much better understanding of what is speech versus what is noise. And what that is useful for you as a user is now the technology knows, okay, this signal sounds more like these speech sounds, which I want to highlight and amplify. Oh, and these sounds are more like background noise. So let's get rid of those or let's reduce those. A couple other examples come from Starkey and Widex, and Starkey is interesting. They were the first hearing aid manufacturer to publicly talk about artificial intelligence in their devices, and they do some really interesting things. They do a lot of what Oticon does in terms of processing sound and speech, but they also are pushing into some other spaces. Uh, Starkey, the new Starkey Genesis hearing aids include fitness tracking, some wellness scores. They measure how well you're engaging with your environment. They have fall detection. They're kind of building in a lot of overall health and wellness metrics, and they're using AI to do a lot of that. Widex is another example of an AI powered hearing aid, but they do things in a little bit of a different way. Instead of gathering 12 million sounds like Oticon did, Widex is actually gathering feedback from users. So in the app, you can score or rate the sound that you're hearing, and you can give Widex real-time feedback on how well the hearing aids are doing managing in that background noise. Together, that data is anonymized, and then it makes the uh, hearing aid and the hearing aid system smarter over time. It's really exciting in terms of how it can manage really difficult situations that people are, are genuinely challenged by. So you can see that artificial intelligence is making its way into the hearing aid space and it's creating some really exciting innovations already. I also get excited about what's ahead. I can imagine further advances that AI might unlock for hearing aid wearers like me. One that I think about all the time is a hearing aid that could identify my wife and daughter's voice based on repetition and maybe prioritize them in a crowded room. These are things that technically should be possible in a very short amount of time. And that gets me really excited as a hearing aid wearer. So there are certainly some very exciting things ahead for hearing aid wearers and the hearing health space in general. Dr. Amy, thank you for your time today. And to the you, the viewer, we wish you the best.